The LEGO Retro Food Truck is a gift with purchase set you can get at the moment from LEGO with qualifying purchases of $190, which is a bit of an insane threshold. I'm personally not complaining, as the January purchases I made got me two of these, and I would have made them regardless of getting the free sets or not, though for people who aim their spending in hopes of getting these might not be as pleased. Anyways, this is all about the model. It comes with two minifigures, someone ready to make a purchase and the vendor himself with a cool striped torso and a few drops of sweat coming down his face, fitting of his job next to the grill. The truck itself looks okay. I can say I love that front as there's lots of different shapes which feel out of place to me personally, but apart from that and maybe the sticker use, I can only say good things about it. Love the color scheme with that semi-rare baby blue color that only a few sets have in decent quantities, the red stripe, white top, complete with that iconic white and red awning. In some ways it kinda makes me think of an ice cream truck rather than a food truck, but it's the interior that makes that distinction clear. You access it by removing the top section that even has the grill pieces to make for a ventilation system of sorts. In the front, nothing more besides the driver's seat, but then you have the working space with a big grill in the back for the hot dogs, some utensils and a brilliant building technique for the fries using the minifigure claw element sideways, some more supplies in the bottom shelves and two cups with straws, again, cool building technique with interesting piece choices. The awning outside can be adjusted and there's plenty of studs on the serving window to attach the hot dogs. On the opposite side of the truck, besides that sticker everything else is very plain and at the back there's an outside table for people to enjoy their food. The cool thing is that by removing the sauces you can close the table so to speak for when the food truck drives around. There's also a small board sign highlighting what the food truck vendor has to offer as well as a deal for those drinks. That kinda looks like an amusement park ride ticket so is this a little hint at a Lego fairground set in the works? Or maybe you can use your admission ticket for the Natural History Museum for the deal as the first time people were made aware about this food truck set was through a leak of sorts on the press kit images of the last modular building where both sets are seen together. I can't really complain about extra vehicles to populate LEGO cities, especially when they're this cute and good enough that LEGO could even sell them as standalone products. But as it stands you'll need to fork the $190 until the 16th of January if you want one, or wait for the second run of this promotion that will happen between April 1st and April the 7th in a few months time as disclosed to me by LEGO. Now the reason I got two of these was because of all of my January 1st purchases, which I cannot wait to show you all in detail on my upcoming LEGO review videos, so which ones should I do first? Let me know in the comments and subscribe so I can get to half a million subs, it would mean the world to me.